Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you some of the new things in Construct 3 release 344. Let's jump in. So there's lots of new examples in this release which you can see in the new section of the example browser and I'm going to jump into the first new feature which is the new QR code plugin. So this makes it really easy to drop a QR code into your game uh, and it even shows in the editor and it updates as you change its properties here so you can see how it looks right away. Obviously you could previously use an image of a QR code but this makes it even easier and also means that you can change the text uh, the QR code represents uh, in your event sheets so you can dynamically create a QR code for something like a multiplayer join code. So that's one cool new feature let's move on to the next. Uh, next up there's a clipboard plugin uh, which now lets you access the clipboard. Uh, if you don't know what the clipboard is that's what um, programmers refer to uh, copy and paste operations. Those are said to work with the system clipboard. And uh, so now in the screenshot example uh, there's a new copy button which demonstrates how this works. So I can take a screenshot and I can click copy and that copies the screenshot image directly to my clipboard so I can then directly paste it into some image editing software. Uh, so that's another useful way to uh, you know, uh, get uh, URLs and anything you want your users to copy out of your projects. Um, the clipboard plugin has the ability to copy text and also binary from the binary data object which is how the screenshot example works and you can also request a paste uh, which um, may show a permission prompt uh, but does allow reading the clipboard as well. Next up, I'm going to move on to another new plugin. Um, lots of new plugins in this uh, release. Uh, and there's a new uh, cryptography plugin. Now, if you've heard crypto referring to uh, cryptocurrency, this is a different kind of thing. Cryptography refers to cryptographic operations such as encryption and decryption and uh, hashing as well. So you can see here um, it's got uh, the ability to encrypt and decrypt and uh, there's hashing as well. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the theory of what hashing and encryption is in this video but uh, suffice to say um, they're useful tools for some projects um, and also that uh, just uh, be aware the fact that you use encryption does not mean your project is secure. There's um, more caveats to that and the upcoming manual entry will describe that in a little bit more detail. I'll also just mention that these features all work with a binary data object um, that's just uh, because encrypted data is uh, usually binary as well, uh, but you can store text in a binary data object as well. So here, for example, you can set text into a binary data object. And there is also a new get all text expression to get text out of a binary data object again. So you can do all of this with text as well. It's just using binary data as a place to store the data, whether it's text or images or something else. I'll just give a super quick demo of how this works. I'll write uh, hello world and I'm uh, going to use a password construct, obviously not a very secure one, but this is just a demonstration. And now I can encrypt that with the cryptography plugin and this creates an uh, unreadable uh, string which uh, no one can work out what it says unless you have the same password. So if I use the wrong password, it will fail to decrypt it. And if I use the correct password, then I can get the original text back. There you have it. That's how encryption works in a nutshell. Uh, and there's also hashing. Um, once again, I'm not going to go into the whole theory of how this works, but a hash is a small fixed size amount of data that can sort of be a signature for a longer piece of data. So um, that's a hash um, for the text I've just entered. Uh, it's a long hexadecimal string. You can also copy it to the clipboard using the new uh, clipboard plugin. And if I just even make a tiny change to the text, it comes up with a completely different hash. So this is one of the features of hashes is you, is you can use it to check if uh, large amounts of data match or not. So I'll just quickly change that back. You can see it starts 22AA and that's a completely different hash there starting C053. That's hashing. Now I'm going to move on to uh, another interesting uh, sort of data processing future. Um, it's not something we deliberately focused on for this release but that's just how it's worked out. The binary data object uh, which is used with many of these other plugins um, also has the ability to compress and decompress data. So this is another nice way you can uh, save on some data if you want to transmit it or save it to storage. Um, so again in uh, summary you can take a string of uh, text um, 
and in this case I'm just using lorem ipsum filler text you can compress it with a binary data object and you can see it comes out 61% of the original size uh, and you can decompress it again and get the original text back okay so those are some of the new features in construct I'll just highlight one more um, interesting usability feature um, to do with entering expressions so now if I, uh, I'm just going to get to a parameters dialog and if I type in an expression like token at, uh, you can now see the, uh, we call these call tips. These are showing the parameters to the expression that you've just typed in. Um, previously, it would give you the names of each parameter, but now it also gives you the type. So uh, this can be a helpful tip to make sure you get the right kind of parameter in each place. So for example, um, uh, if I put in the wrong parameters, uh, I'll also just show that error messages include the same um, type annotations as well. So in this case, you can see that the first parameter is expecting a string for the text parameter, but I've put in a number, and then that allows me to uh, correct it. So that's a useful aid to help you get your expressions right as you type them, particularly with expressions that take lots of parameters uh, to save you from having to remember what order to put everything in. Right, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. There's loads more as ever. There's a raft of uh, smaller changes, loads of bug fixes, uh, other new additions. Be sure to check the release notes in particular for uh, some changes to the platform behavior that you might want to be aware of. And uh, there's also lots of other new examples you can check out here, including uh, some new custom actions uh, examples to show how those works. Uh, and some more advanced 3D scripting examples that you can see from the JavaScript logo here and uh, a new example showing how HTML and CSS can work with Construct. All right, uh, we hope you enjoy this release and thanks for using Construct.